Okay, so I'm on JSBin um, and I'm going to type something. So this is for Seb's workshop and let's stick a P tag around that. There you go, lovely. So um, the URL automatically gets generated as you start uh, typing. This is um, saved as you type, like Gmail uh, docs. So I type dot 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 and um, if I shared that URL with someone else, they could see the dot dot dot. The point being is we haven't frozen this revision. It's constantly live. So if I make any changes, um, isn't it nice? If you um, if you clicked on that that link that we shared on Twitter or whatever, you'll see that the content is updated. Now if you want to freeze that and stop that content from being updated as you save, you need to go to share lock revision one. Okay, nothing visually happens here. Um, but it means that, let's say, uh, I forgot the closing, uh, well, actually, I want to add some CSS. So I'm going to do, um, I'm going to add body font, uh, font family is mono uh, type. What you want to watch is the revision, the version. The version will, uh, won't stay at one anymore. What we save should become two. So if I do body uh, font family mono space, the revision is two. If we refresh revision one, we still have the times, but if we open in revision 2, we have the mono space. So saving happens dynamically behind the scenes whilst you have right access to that, that bin. Once you freeze it, or once you lock it, any changes you make, um, they won't affect this bin, it will create a new bin for you, a new uh, version. So if I lock version 2, um, you close that p tag and add something more, this affects the third revision. So one is still times two doesn't have the second sentence and three has that second sentence. Hope that helps.